Did you know that you can customize AT&T Phone for Business to meet your business needs? Take advantage of the many features included at no additional cost. We'll show you some of the features that will help you manage incoming and outgoing calls, including flexible calling line ID, locate me, exclusive call forwarding, and message forwarding. Jane, a small business owner, is already logged into her AT&T Phone for Business account and she's ready to manage her calling features. Jane uses the flexible calling line ID feature to properly identify outgoing calls. By default, the call recipient will see the primary or main number for calls placed from any AT&T Phone for Business line. But Jane wants the company name and service to appear for calls from this department. First, Jane purchases an additional listing for her AT&T account. Then she uses flexible calling line ID to apply the listing information to the service department line. Flexible calling line ID is also useful when separate businesses or business partners share the same AT&T phone for business service. For example, two lawyers or two small shops. You'll find flexible calling line ID on the phone features tab under outgoing calls. For more information, watch the video, sign in and access your phone features. Next, Jane uses the Locate Me feature to help make sure calls are answered. She can have up to four additional employees receive the same call, even if they're at different locations. For example, Jane's phone line, the front desk, the stockroom, the warehouse across the street, and a wireless phone can all ring at once. Jane uses Locate Me to ring her office, home, and mobile phone simultaneously, so she won't be tied to the office waiting for that important call. You'll find Locate Me on the Phone Features tab under Feature Controls. Next, Jane uses the exclusive call forwarding feature to direct up to 20 callers to the right person or department. Jane wants to forward specific calls directly to the customer service department. You'll find exclusive call forwarding on the Phone Features tab under Call Filtering. Finally, Jane uses the Message Forwarding feature to send voicemail messages transcribed as text to email. Jane likes to read her voicemail messages on the train ride home. An audio file is attached to the email message, so she can listen to the voicemail message too. You'll find message forwarding on the Voicemail Settings tab under Voicemail Preferences. Make sure that message transcription is set to on. You might also want to check out our AT&T Voicemail Viewer app, which gives you quick access to voicemail messages from your wireless device. Want to learn more? For more videos, go to att.com slash SMB How To Videos. For step-by-step -step help, go to the Support Center at att.com slash Small Biz Support.